In this video, let us understand what are the histograms. See, histogram, it is a graphical presentation of a frequency distribution of a continuous series. While constructing a histogram, values of the variables are shown on the x-axis, whereas the frequency is shown on the y-axis. The width of the rectangles are according to the width of the corresponding class intervals. Height of the rectangle is in proportion to the frequencies of the class intervals. So your histograms are of two types. Number one is histograms of equal class interval number two is the histogram of unequal class interval. Let's understand the histogram of equal class interval first. Now histograms of equal class intervals are those which are based on the data which have the equal class intervals. Let's say 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15. So the class height is same in all the classes that is a 5. So the class intervals are equal in this. Let's see how to make the histograms. Uh, we are given the marks in the statistics from 0 to 10, 10 to 15, 15, sorry, that is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. Right? Frequencies are given to you. That is your 5, 10, 15, and 20. Right? So, the total is 50. Now, in this example, your class intervals are equal. The class height of the class intervals are equal. That is, these are on the gap of 10, 10, 10, 10. 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20, 30, 32. 40. So these are known as the equal class interval. And now see how to draw a histogram. On x axis, we will always take the frequency. Let's take it from 5, 10, 15, 20. And on the x axis, we will always take the marks. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Here you take the marks. Here you take the frequencies. Now, from 0 to 10, the frequency is 5. So, 0 to 10, it is 5. From 10 to 20, the marks, the number of students are 10. From 20 to 30, the number of students are 15. From 30 to 40, the number of students are 20. So there is no gap between the histograms. These are continuous from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. In this way, you make your Histogram. Here the frequency is 5, here it is 10, here it is 15, here it is 20. So these are your equal class interval histograms. The second is your histogram of unequal class intervals. A histogram of unequal class interval is the one which is based on the data with unequal class intervals. Let's suppose, let's take an example and see what we do while calculating the histogram of unequal class intervals. 
we are given the wages in rupees that is from 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 and 30 to 40 40 to 60 and 60 to 80 and these are the frequency or the number of workers 7 10 27 15 12 12 So, when making this histogram, what we do, we have an unequal class interval that is 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 60, 60. Here it's a 10 a gap, here it is a gap of 20, 20 and here it is the gap of 5, 5, 5. So, we have unequal class intervals. Now, what we do, we find out the adjustment factor. Now the adjustment factor is the class height with the slowest class interval, smallest class interval. Here the lowest class or the smallest interval is 5. There is no gap which is less than 5 so your smallest interval is 5. So your adjustment factor is 5. Now what you do? You calculate the adjustment factor for class. This you find out the adjustment factor. Now you will find out the adjustment factor for class. Now here the class, the difference between the class is 5. So 5 by 5 is 1. So now let's find out the adjustment factor for class. So uh, here the class height is 5 and the adjustment factor is 5, so 1. Here the class height is 5 and the adjustment factor is 5 again, 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Here the class height is 10, the difference is 10. Adjustment factor is 5 because we take the adjustment factor of the lowest or the smallest interval. The smallest interval is 5. Then 20 divided by 5 has the differences of 20, that is 4. Then again 20 divided by 5, it is 4. So the, in this way we find out the adjacent factor of class. Now what we will do, we will find out the frequency density. What we will do, we will divide the frequency with the adjustment factor for class that is 7 divided by 1 will be 7 then 10 divided by 1 will be 10 27 divided by 1 will be 27 15 divided by 1 will be 15 then 12 divided by 2 will be 6 12 divided by 4 will be 3 8 divided by 4 will be 2 so while Considering the while making the, the histogram of unequal class interval, we will take these class intervals and the frequency density on the histogram. So while making, uh, let's see how we will make the histogram by taking the wages and these frequency densities. Now for the convenience, I have again written the wages and the frequency density which we found out in the previous on the previous page. Now we will make a graph with on y-axis we will take the number of workers on x-axis we will take the class of the wages. We will take the with the same distance that is of five 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 five. Now let's make the histogram. From ten to fifteen we have seven somewhere here so 10 to 15 it's 7 from 15 to 20 it's 10 this then 20 to 25 it's 25 25 to 30 is 15 
then 30 to 40 it is 6 somewhere here 30 to 40 it is 6 then from 40 to 60 it is 3 40 to 60 is 3 somewhere here then 60 to 80 it is 2 60 to 80 it is So with this we have find out your histogram when you are given with the unequal class intervals. That is 7 here, 10, 25, 15, 6, and 3. So we were given say 60 to 80 the frequency was 8. So from 60 to 60 we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 we have uh, written it as 8. Now from 40 to 60 the actual frequency was 12. So we divided into 3 parts that is 40 to 45 3, 45 to 53, 50 to 55 3 and then 55 to 63. So 3 into 4 is 12. So we are actually giving the exact frequencies but we have calculated the frequency density on this part. I hope you have understood the historic, uh, histograms. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.